Hello, hello. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, good morning. How's everyone doing? It is a fabulous day here. My pool is being opened. <laughs> I know it's early. And that's okay because I love my pool. <laughs> so I know it's early. Um, my husband, we were just taking some pictures, but we were um, joking like, oh, we can put the pool heater on and we can go in the pool tonight. You know, it's only 42 here today. That's the high. So it seems a little counterintuitive to be opening your pool. <laughs> but if I, I'd love to have it open in April. My dogs are probably going to kill me because they love to, it's a trampoline cover. So they love to, like, whenever we close the pool, they gain like at least two, 300 square feet <laughs> to play in. So now they're going to be like, oh my God, the hole is back. That thing that you go in and we can't touch you. <laughs> I wish they'd get in, but they won't. But anyway, so good morning. Hello, hello, everybody. I am joining all of you today because I wanted to, um, you're probably going to hear Clark and Phoebe a little bit. So let's just call that out now because, you know, they're in my backyard opening and they're being amazingly calm. Um, I think the worst part is over. So um, you might hear them a little bit. So just a little heads up there. So, but I really wanted to come on because I was like really feeling the energy of this moving and I don't want to lose it because I know that that energy is really speaking. So I had the amazing opportunity to to hear and to be in the same Zoom room with uh, Richie Norton. And I'm not sure if I know some of you here probably know him, um, you know, from his Instagram. And he actually just wrote a book. It's called The Anti-Time Management Book. And it's incredible. He's always got amazing truth bombs, wisdom to just boom. And it's like, wow new perspective shifts. Um, so, and, you know, something that he shared uh, last week that really landed with me was he said, and this is now, you know, I know like as a money mindset and manifestation coach and what I'm stepping into is like, I help coaches heal their relationship with money so they can become financially free right? This can, and this gets to look so many fun ways and, you know, like how we build our businesses and, you know, and even, you know, in for, in, in, even if you're watching this and you're like, I'm not a coach, but like, you know, maybe you own your own business, maybe you work for someone, like it doesn't matter. So many of these principles apply. Okay. So Richie Norton shared that your business, like your life is your, and I'm paraphrasing here, your life is the castle you build. Okay. So like your life, you build it like the castle that it is, right? And then around your castle, you dig a moat and the moat is your business. It surrounds your life, but it goes around your castle, not inside your castle, outside your castle, around your castle, right? And um, it was, even though like I hadn't heard it in this way before, something really just shifted and landed in, the, in this way of like, yes, you know, and, and I was just processing it like, right, like your life, you know, um, is separate from your business, right? Like you get to do, you know, you, what does it look like? What does your morning look like? What does your self-care practice look like? What does your life look like? Do you, are you, a, do you like to walk or do you like to run? Do you like to Peloton and spin? I mean, like, you know, your life is so many components and I really love like the life wheel, uh, for this image because like you have your, you know, your spiritual life, you have your, your relationships, you have, you know, your, uh, like friendships, you have your community, you have your work, you know, you have like all of these aspects, like fun and adventure, right? You have all of these aspects to your life and they make up this beautiful wheel. And when, you know, and then the wheel can move forward, right? So the wheel actually helps you move forward in your life and in your business. So because how you do your life is how you do your business, right? 
So totally. It's so, you know, it just, they so are immersed together. How you do your life, the way that you respond, the way that you share, the way that you are like, you know, patient, loving, kind, or stressed, or like all of the emotions, right? Because we can be all of the emotions at once. (laughs) We can be a fireball of emotions, right? But how we make choices, how we make decisions in our life is how we tend to make those decisions and choices in our business. So it's just a huge highlight of when you see your life that you've built, this amazing wheel as a castle. And these are just metaphors. Like you're so much more than a wheel in a castle, you know, but like just this beautiful metaphor of what this looks like, right? Like it's grand. Like I think of castles, they're like beautiful and stone and they have like amazing turrets and gorgeous windows and beautiful tapestries, right? Like you get to, you know, create your castle. However, maybe you don't like tapestries. Maybe you like the giant tall bed with the huge canopies with curtains. You can just like go in there and like close the curtains and like tuck yourself in, right? Like maybe that's like your, like that's how you get to build your life, right? And when that is first built, right? All the things are in place. The stones are where they go. The tapestries are where they go. The beds are where they go. Like when you walk in, like you lower the gate to like go in and like you raise the gate behind you because now you're in your life space. You're in your life wheel space, right? And you have that gate acts as boundaries. So that, that gate is a boundary. Like this is where I am. This is where I am now fully, completely. Like imagine like what that would be like, like how, and I know this is something that we're always working towards of like, you go into your, your life, your personal life, your, those wheels, the relationships, your community, your family, all of that. And like that gate, you just get to close that draw bridge. That is the boundary of, I am now fully present and supported here in with my family. And then when you lower the gate, okay. I get to now go and be in my business and then the family closes the gate. Right. And like, that's how like you get to be like present with your family and not distracted and like fully, like this is thriving for me. Like you get to be fully present with your, when you are with your family, right. You close up that bridge. And then like, when you lower the bridge and go out into your business, you get to be fully present in your business, not feeling guilty about not being with your family, right? Like as women, we just like have all of it coming at us. Right. So how can you like, and for me, like, I want to feel completely and fully present with when I'm with, when I'm with my family so that I'm not distracted. And I, because it just drives me insane, right? Like I, that is, I love it when I'm just like, I'm fully here and present with you and like everything is turned off. And then I get to like, when it's that, but I love my business too. And I love what I do. So then I'll go lower the bridge and like go out and be in my business and like family, I'll be back because like this feeds me, right? Like this feeds me too. And it's wonderful to have, like you can have both. This gets to be a yes and you can have a business and a family, you can have a castle. And when you build it in this way of the moat goes around the castle. Imagine for a moment, and I feel like in my experience that years ago, this is how it was for me too. <clears throat> imagine before we have like all the tools and all the knowledge and all the things. Okay. So imagine that you've built the moat first, which is your business, right? You've built it in the way that we think of a moat, right? Like, you know, it's it's not super deep, but we got to dig it out so that the water can go around there, right? And so now you've got like this complete ring. You haven't built the castle yet. It's just the moat. The moat's your business. Okay. You're in your business. You're filling it with water. You've dug the trench. It's cycling. Like the water is flowing. Maybe you threw a couple alligators in there. I don't know. But like the water's flowing, you've got the business up and off the ground. You're like, woohoo, like this is really cool. Like I built my business. It's fabulous. It's amazing. This is exactly what I want. Now I'm making the money. Now I have all the things. And now, okay, now I can go and like, now I can go and travel and do these things with my family. Okay. So now you want to like go and build the castle. But all the materials and everything you need are on the opposite side of the moat. So to get all the stone, those heavy stones, right? Like those beautiful stones that you've hand selected, right? Now they have to come 
through, like now they have to like, now you're engineering systems to be able to make the stones float so they can get them to the other side, right? Like it's backbreaking work when now you've got to get the people, the materials, the supplies, the stones, the concrete, the mortar, like all the things. Now to go get the hose, like all the things you're going to need to build the castle. Now I have to come through the moat, which is your business. Imagine for a moment. Like, is that what you're doing unintentionally and no judgment? Because I feel like we've all done this. But like now that we have the tools, I feel like now like this is like, oh, my gosh, build the castle first, build your life first. Let this be the permission wand to make it easier for you to build your castle, to build your life first. Right. Like so, you know, and and now you know, so you're, you're trying to like bring the stones across the moat. Right. And now you're like you're having to bend over and like pick them up and move them over here. Right. And now you're like, okay, I need, I need more mortar. We got to like go to the store and like bring it back and float it across the moat and pull it up and out and now get it to the place where you want to put your castle. This is exhausting. Like this is backbreaking work, right? Like this is, ex this is, oh my gosh, this is why, like when I see that, you know, the coaches, you know, that I help and work with, I'm like, no wonder you're exhausted. You're crossing the moat to go build your castle now, right? And it's like, how can we let this be easy? How can you build your castle? And you may already have the business and that's totally fine. Like we don't need to like, you know, undo all the things you just get to have, like, let this be the permission wand for you to be like, you know, if this is resonating, like, let this be the permission wand for you to build your castle, to build your life too without feeling guilty or like you're not being fully present with your family or with your business. Like you are literally building your castle and this gets to be, how do I want my day to look? How do I want my life to look? How do I, like, how do I want to move through my day when I wake up in the morning? Like, what's my ideal day? What does it even look like? Right? Like we're so like, I know, like I could speak of personal uh, you know, experience when I built my first business as a massage therapist, I catered my business around my clients and what they needed and their schedule and like what would work and suit them, not me. No wonder why I started feeling resentful and like, sweet baby Jesus, you know, I just want a day off, but I can't have one. I just want to stay home on Saturday, but I can't because I've, I've got these amazing clients that love Saturdays, right? Because I didn't build, I built my, my moat before my castle. Now in my second business that I've built, I'm building the, I built the castle and then the moat gets to go around without dragging the supplies through like the whole castle, like here's the stones. We got to be creative and fun and fully present with building the castle, the life that we want. Do we want to travel? What do we want to talk about? What do we want to teach about? Like, what do I want to share about? Right. Built this beautiful castle. And it's like, okay, this is how I want this to look okay, how can my business now come in around this, right? And that's my moat. And I built my moat after my castle. So now the, now the water's flowing. Now it's like, woo, it's got a little current going. It's like a current of neural pathways. <laughs> and it's, you know, the clients have a place to come in, but they see where they are. Oh, this time works for them. But guess what? It works for them because it works for me. So I'm drawing those people in that mode in my business. I'm drawing those people to me. I'm activating and becoming magnetic and drawing those people to me because I first selected what I want my day to look like. I built my life first. And then the clients got to come into my business, my moat around it. So now both support each other. Ah, oh, like, yes. And I like when I heard Richie Norton say that, I was like, yes, like that is it. Like that just landed in like this deeper way for me. And what an amazing, um, what an amazing piece to have of this where it's like, yes, yes, let me build my life first and let me put my business around my life so that effortlessly, just like we talked about, like when you're in your business and things are flowing and you're working and it's like, you can be fully present with your clients, with your, even if it's like you work at a, in a bank, right? Even like whatever this is, like you, like, how do you want this to look? Does 
that does that job fit your castle or do you need a different moat right like do you which is the business which is your work right like is it working for you if it what would it look like how will you know when it's working for you that's a good question how will you know when it's working for you what would that look like what would your day look like if if your life was flowing and then how can you build around your castle with that moat which is your business your job your work you know i've heard plenty of people that are like i wanted to move to south carolina all of a sudden my job was like hey we're looking for somebody to transfer you get to pick out of these three states one of which was south carolina <laughs> <laughs> They're like, I'll go, right? Like you open yourself up to possibility, right? Of like, how can I bring my life into alignment with my values? My values are, I, I, I want to be in a warm culture. I want to be in a warm state. Four seasons are, aren't really my jam. Winter's not cutting it for me anymore. Okay, great. Great. Like, what would that look like as you're building your castle in your life? You, It's not that you have it right now so that you can build your castle, right? It's what would that look like? And you start to activate your manifesting magnet to draw. <laughs> Ooh, sorry, pull people. Oh, that scared me. <laughs> uh, you get to draw that to you, you, those people, the situations, the promotions, the transfers. It's like maybe it's a job change completely. We just don't know. We just don't know. But what we do know is you get to build your castle, build your life the way that you want it to look, and then install the moat around, which your moat is your business, your job, whatever that is, install that around. That is you actually asking for what you want and what you desire. That's bringing manifesting. That's bringing your business and your life together. That's bringing all of these elements and pieces together. So my question for you today is, Clerk says he's going to check. Okay. 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 All right. We have to end it here. How? Okay. They stopped. Okay. How can? What does your cat? Let me go back. Can you um?